A word of warning tonight from authorities for people thinking about heading out onto the ice. This message comes from people following this rescue mission caught on camera yesterday. The sheriff's office responding to Sturgeon Point after the ice shifted. Six people got stranded about a quarter mile away from the shore. Everyone made it back okay. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Brittany Muller, though, is showing us tonight how to stay safe when you're out there on the ice. First, you got to make sure the ice is safe. Al Rero is a pro when it comes to ice fishing. He's been doing it for the past 45 years. He says the ice should be at least three to four inches thick. Ice fishing, you, you could lose your life very easy. You could get hypothermia. Something Rero knows firsthand. I fell through. At the age of 12, he says he plunged into the water near the Niagara River. When I fell through, I kept trying to grab the ice, grab the ice, and it kept slipping and slipping. Now Rero is never without these. Push it in the ice and pull yourself up on the ice. And with the proper tools and safety equipment. Boots that are good for 20 to 30 below and snowmobile suits, you know, survival suits. And after Sunday's rescue near Sturgeon Point Marina. When you look out and there's open water, you know, at least a half a mile to a mile open, I mean, you're, you wonder, you know, how you're going to get back. We know they enjoy ice fishing, but uh, we always say there's no safe ice. Uh, you just never know. Uh, so you have to use a lot of uh, caution. The Erie County Sheriff's Office says an ice fishing rescue happens every year. There's always a, uh, a pressure ridge there that breaks open if there's an east wind. When you got open water on an east wind, the ice shifts and it open it open right up. Yep, there we go. Anglers say to make sure you always have a compass on you and make sure to let someone know where you'll be. Reporting from the Safe Harbor Marina, Brittany Muller, 7 Eyewitness News.